Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of 10 Minute Trades. So if you're not familiar with this, I started a new series where in about 10 minutes, I'm gonna show you how to do technical analysis on any ticker of your choosing. If you'd like to make a suggestion, leave a YouTube comment below with the ticker you want me to do TA on. You have to be a subscriber and you have to have notifications turned on or else I will not choose your ticker. So make sure you have all that and let's get right into it. So a user last night suggested that I do eBay and I will say shout out to you because this was a very interesting graph and I don't profess to be some sort of guru or some expert at technical analysis, but this one was really challenging and got the brain juices flowing. So great suggestion and let's get right into it. So unlike the past two tickers that we did, eBay has been around for a long time. So we have a lot of historical data as you can see here. So let's get right into it. If we zoom in, these are one day each candles. Each candle represents one trading day. So, you know, the first thing I like to do is just check out the Fibonacci retracements. It's not that helpful, I feel like, in this case, because eBay has run up so much compared to its pre-illness levels, because pre-illness, it had a high of around $39. It dipped down to about 26, but you can see we reached pre-illness levels by mid to end of April. And we've basically just been trading at all time highs pretty much ever since all the way as high as about $61. So the further we get away, you can see the Fibonacci levels widened. So hasn't really been that helpful. But one interesting thing is if you look at where we topped out, it's pretty much right at this 261.8% Fibonacci level here because you know these candles, these wicks, they pretty much bounced right off that. So I think that is gonna be an area of resistance at basically all time high levels. But as you can see where the candle is today, we have quite some way to go before we reach that level again. So just so the stock chart is not cluttered, I'm gonna hide this for now. But I do think that really the pertinent levels right now are this resistance at roughly $59 and there will probably be support at this 1.618% Fibonacci level at about low $46. But let's turn this off so it's not so cluttered. Now, the first thing I saw was there was this big kind of uptrend, right? Once we reached peak illness or once we bottomed out, there was this big momentum upward. So I drew a trend line, which I think incorporates this movement upward. I basically started it at the bottom of the wick at the illness lows. And then I try to incorporate as much of the bottom of these candles as I can. And you can see a lot of the time we were trading above that trend line. We did break below it, but then we broke back up above it and then we broke below it and now stayed below it. So we did, I would say end of July, we did break this uptrend in eBay, which is not a good sign, right? Because if you want to stay bullish, you want to keep going up along this trend line. Even if it breaks down below it, you want the stock to come right back above it, but it didn't do that. You can see once it broke below it, once it broke below it this time, this is what you wanna see, that it continues and then just comes right back on top of it. But this time it broke below it and did not come back on top. It basically traded sideways from that point on. And I think this was the tipping point because I am a little bit bearish right now on eBay. So again, let's just hide this trend line for now just so the stock chart isn't so cluttered. And one thing I wanna bring your attention to is how eBay in the current trading days and weeks is setting lower lows. So I'm gonna draw some icons here to prove my point. So you can see all these green arrowheads, right? So once we broke that trend line, which I'll just show again, once we broke down past this trend line, you can see that the, the recent lows were pretty much horizontal, right? There wasn't a lot of variation up or down. We were kind of trading sideways for a few trading days. Again, you can see these lows are not very far apart in terms of their share price. However, recently, ever since end of August, we're hitting lower lows. You can see these wicks are getting lower and lower, which is not a good sign because that tells me we're in a downward trend. And so I can, also draw you some channels. So let's see if I first draw you this channel here, this kind of again corresponds with the trend line. I think you could have either used a trend line like I drew in the green, or you could have drawn a parallel channel like I have here. And as you can see, 
if I draw a channel basically along the bottom wicks of the majority of these candles to the top of the wicks of the ma majority of these candles, eBay has been trading in this channel up and down for quite some time, just constantly going up. But again, similar to this trend line, we broke out of this channel and then traded sideways for a little bit, maybe rallied a little bit, but then we're on a downward trend. So again, this is a bearish sign because we broke this up channel. And if you wanna see if we're trading to another channel, I drew another parallel channel here because I'm gonna hide this one in a second. But I think, see, we're now trading in this channel, but this channel is trending down, which is not good. Down is bad. So again, you know, we were trading in this channel, which didn't really have a strong slope. It was kind of flat. So it wasn't the worst downward channel in the world. But today is kind of scary because today we gap down below the channel and now there's a gap here and we're pretty significantly far below the bottom of this channel. So tomorrow is gonna to be interesting to see if we kind of gap back up and, and again, keep trading in this channel that's relatively flat, but it is downward sloping, which is not good. It's a bearish sign. Or we have persistently now broken down this channel and we're gonna trade even harder in, in the red basically. So let me hide these, but that's another reason why I think we're in a downward trend. So then my next step was, let me look to see where potential support and resistance lines are. So the first thing I noticed was there was, I think a trend line here recently at about $53.60, or let's just say mid 53s. Because as you can see, there were some candles here in the most recent trading days that basically bounced off this trend line. And I'm gonna zoom in here so it's easier to see. So some of these wicks, some of these candles were trading off this trend line. If we go back a little bit, this wick here, these two wicks, this wick, this candle here, it seems like there is initially a level of support at $53 because you can see we bounced off it, bounced off it, bounced off it. Then we finally broke back below it, tried to climb back past it, but didn't, we bounced it back down. So what was once a level of support at 53 looks like unfortunately it is now a level of resistance. And the other thing is that for the past few trading days, we've also been trading below the 21 day moving average, which is shown in orange and the 50 day moving average, which is shown in pink. And the other bearish sign is here. You can see this crossover where the 21 day moving average crossed below the 50 day moving average. So that is also not a good sign. Now let's see where some more areas of resistance and support are. So I noticed in terms of the all time highs, there looks to be an, another area of resistance around $59 and some change. You can see we kind of topped out here with a few wicks and a few candles. We broke below it. We couldn't break past above it here, 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 or here. We traded below it, tested it again with these few candles, again, bounced off it. So it seems like $59 is another area of strong resistance. But again, compared to where we are trading right now, we have a ways to go before we even start testing that 59 strike level. Let's take a look at some more trend lines. As far as support, I believe there's an area of support right now at around $47, $48. You can see there's a few candles all the way back in June that look like they bounced off this level before they started this uptrend here. You know, between about early to late June, we kind of bounced off the $48 level a few days. So I think that is our current area of support. And as you can see, the wick today did dip below 48, but you can see we closed the day above it around 48.60. So that's why, again, I think that 48 is a level of support right now. We'll have to wait and see if tomorrow we stay trading above 48 or if we do break down below 48. I think, especially for eBay right now, looking at this chart below 48, I am concerned that if we do break down and trade below 48, it's gonna be lookout below because my next area of support that I identified was at $41. Now you may look at this graph right now and say, wait a minute, where are you seeing these candles? There's really not much there. And I agree with you. There's only a few candles here back in early May, but the reason I drew the support level here 
is if you zoom out pre-illness, there were a bunch of candles here in September, August of last year that basically were using this level as resistance. So you can see there's a bunch of candles and wicks here. Looks like we tested the $41 share price a few times here, these candles here, this candle here, before we decide to trade below it. So I think if we zoom out based on the trading basically a year ago, I think $41 is the next area of support. So I think if we break below 48, the next area of support is the low 40s, around $41. And then what happens if we break that? I think the next area of support is in the high 30s. Because again, if we look back, not quite as far, but if we look back pre-illness, like early this year, there are a few wicks here that basically bounced off the $39 price target. And then again, going back a year, you can see there's a bunch of candles and a bunch of wicks here in October of last year. There's a few wicks here in September. You know, there's some wicks here in June of last year. So I think 39 is the next area of support if we do break below 48 and then 41. Lastly, if we even break below that, I think 35 and some change is the next area of support. Again, we have to go back quite some time to see why. But as you can see, in January of this year, there's a few candles trading at that level. You can see here, you know, ever since about October of last year to about January of this year, we've kind of been going up and down, up and down at the $35 price level, trying to decide whether we want to use this as support or resistance. You know, the illness happened, so we finally broke below it. Then we rallied back, so we finally broke above it. So I think 35 is the next area of support if things get really bad and we break below 48, then below 41, then 39, and then 35. So that is my 10 minute trade analysis on eBay. Again, let me know what ticker I should trade next. Make sure you have subscriptions and notifications turned on and I will use your ticker suggestion. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my TA. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below and happy trading.